Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and I am back with another episode of Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. So today on the docket we have got the Hunter Challenge for the Honey Speedway. We are finishing up Fireworks Factory, and then we're going to do Sparks Level, and then maybe we'll be able to do the World part of um, the Fourth World, Midnight, whatever. <laughs> Whatever it's called. I don't know. Luckily, this one is just like right here. Look out, Spyro. Alright, what are we doing? Oh, we are jumping and dodging stuff. Which I am apparently the best at, as you can see. Alright, let's, uh. Oh gosh. We will just keep this up here. I don't know how Hunter is jumping this boat. Apparently, he just has like the strongest arms of all time. He's just like, screw it, I will just lift the boat with myself in it. With the pure muscle of my, um, of my arms here. Because that's Hunter. Oh gosh. Uh, that looked really bad. <laughs> but that's okay. Look out, Spyro! Alright, hopefully this time will be a little better. I think I kind of remember how to do this now. Not that there's too much to remember. Um, I did find those last six gems. They were in basically the last place I ever would have looked, and I got lucky and just saw them while I was working on re-killing every bird in the level. So, that lucked out. Um, a lot better than it could have gone, because I was ready to re-kill every enemy, and I had already swam through the acid like four or five times trying to find the last six gems, but it wasn't uh, too bad. So that's good news. Man, like this thing just like, it can't jump fast enough. Like the turnaround time to be able to jump again is really low. Look out, Spy! So it feels like there's times when I actually can't jump fast enough to dodge the logs. Like that was almost one of them. And like that, so now we're now we're stuck, I guess. We're just going to start hitting everything. I mean, I guess maybe it's cuz I'm jumping too early sometimes and it's just causing like this nasty chain reaction. But it still feels like um, it just doesn't let you jump soon enough, I guess. Like after you land. I don't know. Maybe that's just my opinion. This is another one of those little mini games that I actually don't remember. So, ah. Well, there we go. <laughs> Did you see? Cool. So that is this done, uh, now fireworks factory, and then we will do sparks level. And then we'll see what time's like after that, because I'm not sure how long fireworks factory is going to take. Don't talk to me, sparks. <laughs> I really wish sparks just wouldn't ever talk to me. Alright. Um, fireworks factory is down... No, it's over. Ah, found it. So, we will head here. I believe this is an Agent 9 thing. Also, the other unfortunate part is that we kind of have to go through most of the level again, I believe. Unless there's an easy way to just get to the end of the level. Maybe there is. I think one of those cannons might do that for me. We will see like that one. I think this one might just take me to the end of the level. I hope so. Yes! Oh, it does. It's so nice. Thank you very much. Nope. Ain't got nothing on me. Head down here and boom. Age of nine. Cool. Hey, Spyro! Alright. Hi, Agent 
Oh god, the first person shooter, I remember now. And it's forced, I can't actually get out of this. So if you're wondering how bad playing as Agent 9 could get, well here you are, because it does not get any worse than this. This is uh, the worst of the worst here. so unfortunate because regular Agent 9 stuff is, is kind of bad, right? I mean, it's... I have a feeling that it was probably pretty good when it... when, like, the game first came out. But it's, it's just, like, not fun anymore to play as Agent 9. Especially after... and I talked about this a little bit last episode, especially after, um... Um, Insomniac did Ratchet and Clank, right? Which is like so much better. It's the same idea, basically, as like the Agent 9 levels, but executed way, way better. And, um, And like this one is just like made that much worse because it's just not even fun on top of everything else. So basically as I said, definitely the worst um, Agent 9 level that there is. Come on. Are you kidding me? able to get this guy and this is um, it seems tedious but this is what I would recommend doing actually just in case you are looking to me for advice on any of this I, I doubt you are but that is how I would recommend doing that section is just like taking them out from a distance before any of them can even get like a remote chance of getting to you pretty much like the safest way of doing it. Certainly not going to get you any speedrun awards. Not that they really give out like speedrun awards, but <clears throat> I guess your reward for speedrunning really well is your Twitch check. <laughs> Although it is kind of sad sometimes how many really good speedrunners there are that just like don't get many viewers on Twitch either because like the game isn't um, something that is super popular or because they're not absolutely the best. I guess that's just kind of the nature of the whole thing though. Unless there's anyone hiding, I should be okay for this section. And it, yeah, it looks like I got everyone. Alright, so... That is that. Oh, Lord. Okay. I'm trying so desperately to take out that ninja box. Did I finally get it? Thank you. Okay, and that should be everyone in this room. Looks like I'm okay here for a bit. Tilt this room probably. Oh no, nope, we just got an egg. And we got some gems here. 
Oh, this doesn't look like necessarily good news. Yeah, that's what I thought. What's left? Damn, quite a bit. Um, okay, there must be another thing to do, I guess. Or some secret section that I missed. Oh, or maybe this level just isn't over yet. I'm actually a little surprised that I didn't remember about this. Where'd that thing go? Get over here, dude. I need you. Thank you. Alright, let's get this. Luckily this isn't timed. That'd be about the only way that you could make playing this guy worse. Is that a then adding a, a timer to everything. How'd my gems get to like such a weird number? Because it said I was only missing 50. So I shouldn't really have like such, an, such a strange number of gems, right? Because I don't remember anything costing like a weird amount and I don't think I'm missing gems from like a different level. Oh, you know what? I started collecting some of the random gems on the next hub world. Duh. Yeah, not the greatest AI in this game. Of course, you could say the same thing about um, Ratchet and Clank, to be honest. There's a lot of issues in that AI as well. Oh, you can jump in first-person mode. <laughs> Playing this whole time thinking that you couldn't even jump. Probably explains why I've been hit so many darn times. Don't start with me. Okay, yeah, I know you're in the dang ninja boxes. They're like right there, okay? Still, I don't want to deal with your crap. They are not giving me much of a choice here. Man, I'm just trying to make going into this room, like, somewhat safe. <laughs> but getting rid of the ones that are, like, right at the door? Okay, maybe I'm okay now. Surprise, they're gonna take a couple hits. Ah. Okay, so far so good. Alright, there's one down. Now for the other ninja box. Oh my god, there's more. This is not fun anymore. Who am I kidding? It was not fun to begin with. Okay, thank you. Now maybe I can make a little bit of dang progress. Alright, there's that one down. Is that all of them, finally? Okay, let's get these dang ninjas off the ceiling. Ninjas on the ceiling. Agent 9 on ice. He said, We are all just prisoners here. Of our own device. I want to know how those... Well, never mind. The answer is because they're ninjas, right? I was going to say, how'd those ninja boxes get here? When I just went through this section. Then I remembered, we are talking about ninjas.
Okay, where do you keep coming from? That's pissing me off. Jesus. <laughs> I love how this is like a dire hostage situation and I can just like take my time through this section and not really have to worry. Yep. Knew that was gonna happen. Okay. One down. Somehow dodge that shot. Come on, thank you. Is this the rest of the gems? Yes. Okay, cool. So gems are done. And we should get another Thanks egg. For rescuing me. You better look after this egg. And that'll be that. So fireworks factory is done. Excellent. I'm just gonna exit area, exit the level, and then we will <coughs> excuse me, we will do the sparks level. And that should be it for this world. Of course, first I have to find the Sparks level. It's a good question. Not sure where it is. Nope, just not even sure at all. Wow, we have 114 eggs. I don't remember how many there are total. I suppose I can pretty easily find out, but it's not up here, is it? Why do I feel like it's up here for some reason? Because it is. Okay. Princess <laughs> Amy should. So, um, yeah, we'll get this done. Hopefully, this won't take too long, and then we will maybe do the hub world of the next world, depending on what our time looks like after that. I'm pressing the wrong button. There we go. I feel like L1 and R1 are much more important in PlayStation controllers than Xbox controllers. I feel natural on Xbox. Or on um, PlayStation, but not on Xbox. Okay. And um, as is typical of any uh, anything else in this game, these levels uh, just get harder and harder with each one. So this one should be a little harder than the last one. We will see if I feel that's actually true. Because to be honest with you, I don't remember too much about any of these. So, probably not the best person to ask uh, if these actually get harder or not. know that I don't really like them at all. <laughs> and I do remember not liking these eels. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Sparks wouldn't go to the dang diagonal. Looks like we've got a seashell. Spotting these starfish? I wouldn't be surprised. Is that correct? Two of them even. Um, I need to go back, I think, to the first part of the level real quick, just to make sure that that one side passage at the beginning didn't, like, open and I just... Oh. Okay. Guess I don't get a choice now. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. I guess if I did, we'll just jump back in the level real quick. Oh my goodness. Okay. No! Sparks. 
better than that. Do it like this. We'll do it live. I forgot that some of these things spawn eels. It's a good way to ruin the fun. Ah, jerks. Hopefully I find some health, because I think that these are sections of the game where, like, if you die, I don't think there's like a checkpoint at any point, so if you die, you're starting over. Uh, I think actually the boss might be a checkpoint, but we will see. these levels very well, other than the first one really, so I actually could not even begin to tell you like how much longer this goes on for. Hopefully not too much longer. It is kind of sad that like for the most part, if you're not playing a Spyro in this game, I don't really enjoy it. <laughs> Because there's, I mean, there's a lot of levels that fit that description. And they're just like ultimately something that I don't enjoy. Okay, stupid eel spawner. Stupid eels. Bunch of uh, starfish. Gonna be everything for gems. Well, this is clearly going to be our boss, that's for sure. Yep. Oh, Lord. Okay. This is not going very well so far. I don't remember this being quite this hard. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I'm not sure. Is this the kind of thing where I want to get a few shots in and then run away? Maybe it is. Obviously, I beat this at some point in my life. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, I mean, at least they don't shoot out the mines at this part, so... This should ultimately be a little easier. Not sure where I'm still missing gems though, that's the only problem. How am I looking for gems? Whoa, 182. Okay. That's actually quite a bit missing. Ah. And then it gets explained. That'll do it. Alright, so let's get out of here. Um, I will start the next hub world. I don't know if we'll quite finish it, but. We will get to uh, at least explore the hub world a little bit, and I guess I will mention the levels as we pass them, uh, at least the ones that I can remember.
When I saw that job. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I don't know why she even bothers to talk to me. These frogs always remind me of the, um, what was, was that an old Looney Tunes thing? I don't remember. The, the old art, the old cartoon with the dancing frog. I don't even remember what the, what the song is now. Alright, so Midnight Mountain, we are officially on to the final section of the game now, because we have done everything in all of the previous sections. So, that's, uh, that's actually really cool. Crystal Islands is not a fun level. <laughs> By the way, if that's the one that I'm remembering it as, that one's going to be a pain in the butt. So is that one that we just passed? I seem to remember a lot of the levels on World 4 being just like really tough. Which I mean they should be, the, the last levels in the game, but maybe some of them are a little too tough. Although the one straight ahead of us, that big Spartan helmet, that one's pretty cool. I do remember that one pretty well. Let's head over here, there are gems back here. Yeah, this tomb level, this one is not fun. Not a big fan. This is also not like the best hub world <laughs> ever. Really easy to miss. Oh, Dino Mines is cool. I like Dino Mines. Well, except for the Agent 9 part. <laughs> As you could probably imagine, any of these that have an Agent 9 part, uh, I think it goes without saying that I probably don't like the Agent 9 part. This is always a fun little like preview of what we're gonna do for the next few episodes for me. I, I know. This should lead to an egg. Yep. Who'd we get, buddy? Cool. Man, this week is just like nuts with new releases. What's this? Oh, is this the portal to the final boss? You did it! Probably, yeah. Because <laughs> technically I could go fight the final boss right now. Which I always found really funny. So if you 100% every world before the final boss, you don't actually have to do any level in the final world. <laughs> Which just seems... It seems wrong to me, I guess. That that's even like a possibility. But there you have it. So if we wanted, I could, uh, I could just go do the final boss. I won't right now. We're still going to save that to be, like, the last thing. Just always struck me as a little bit funny that you could do that. All right, to go do this. Good old Billy. Billy Billy. Should be some stuff behind the helmet, maybe. Yep. Indeed there was. It's funny how much of this stuff is like almost muscle memory. Okay, so what's left? Shouldn't be like a whole lot, honestly. Although there's that whole section over there, which maybe I haven't been to. No, because this is where I started. Of course we've been here. Did I go up here already? Yeah, because that's flying over to the other egg. So what's missing? Um, not much for gems and then an egg for sale. Okay. <laughs> that was about the least helpful thing ever. I mean, 
what does that tell me? That tells me at some point we need to find money bags. Sure. And that there's still some section left that we just haven't discovered, which uh, would be up here, huh? Yeah, this might cover our gem woes. Still didn't find money bags, so I'm not totally sure. I mean, unless that ends up being the last egg that you can get. Okay, so that needs 149 eggs and 15,000 gems. Okay, so what am, I, what am I still missing for gems? It should not be much. One gem. One gem. Come on. Alright, well, we'll make the quick, like, wrap around the levels here, see if we spot the, ah, uh, there it is. One gem that I'm missing. And I have a feeling that that egg does not show up just yet. So, uh, that is where we're going to end off for today. But, as always, feel free to comment. Uh, subscribe, like of course if you like the video, and that'll be that. So, um, with that being said, I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.